Tucked in a corner lot in downtown Redmond at the corner of 4th Street and Forest Avenue sits General Duffy's Waterhole, one of Central Oregon's newer food cart courts. General Duffy's Waterhole is a place for uh, friends and family to gather. And you can gather while maintaining social distance. The 10 picnic tables are spread apart and groups are limited to 10 people. Well-behaved pets are also welcome at General Duffy's and it is an eclectic lineup of food carts. We got an excellent variety, budo bowls, uh, vegan, uh, plant-based food, and then we have uh, an Asian truck with Sally's Walk, so she does Asian fusion. Then we have Bad Boys Barbecue. Gotta have barbecue. You gotta have barbecue, yeah. <laughs> There's also a food cart called That Guy's Bistro. Our signature disc is the Philly sandwich, which is basically an open-faced sandwich. Uh -huh. And uh, the tri-tip is definitely our number one seller. I think it's so popular because we do it from scratch. We uh, we trim and cut our own tri-tip and then we uh, marinate it and season it twice oh. and we cook it twice. So yeah. it's quite the process. And I keep thinking of modifying it and I got a few customers that say, don't change a thing. It ain't broke. <laughs> don't fix it. Yeah. And just a few steps away is a cart that specializes in homemade ravioli dishes known as cucina. Nona is my grandma. I thought maybe. Yep. I named it after her. Back in the day, growing up, Nona was always teaching me everything around the kitchen. Um, oh. Her love for the kitchen, her love for food is really what sparked my love. And that love of cooking includes using as many local ingredients as possible. My flour comes from Springfield from Camas Country Mill. Um, my beef comes from Keystone Natural Beef here in Redmond. Sun Grounded Farm does tons of my produce. They're right out in Terrebonne. Getting something that hasn't been sitting in a freezer for, you know, six months. It was freshly butchered that month. You actually got it right then and there. It was butchered right down the street, you know, something that's super, super fresh. You can taste the difference for sure. I mean, my produce, Sun Grounded Farms, they pick the produce that morning that they deliver it to me. Do you have like a signature dish? Signature dish would probably be my three cheese and spinach ravioli with my house-made marinara sauce and known as meatballs. People come together at the water hole for food and beverage. The two of us are symbiotic. We have to work together and it's very important for us to have great carts on, in our food lot. Any food cart court worth its salt offers a full menu of local and regional beers. And in that sense, we salute General Duffy's. Is it possible for us to talk to General Duffy? Is he around? Uh, he, 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 he is. He's right over here, but he doesn't really talk. General Duffy is an elk that I shot six years ago bow hunting. Okay. And uh, my wife, who's behind the bar right now, would not let me put uh, General Duffy in the house. So you built this entire place around your elk? I mean, it's sad. <laughs> As sad as it sounds, it's true. General Duffy's has been open for just over a year. A new addition is The Angle, a performance stage area, which Robertson plans to use to attract big name music acts. This area is also used for special events and a Saturday market. General Duffy's is certainly living up to its credo to become a gathering place for locals. To provide an opportunity for people to, to gather with friends and family, uh, furry friends, uh, come here, hang out, have a great time, and yes, we, we sell beverages as well. But that's not our focus. Our focus is the community.